Hello world and welcome to my channel. This video is on a Sunday morning walk along the suburb of Cranbrook which is the um, west eastern side of the river. Um, I had one at Douglas which is on the, on the western side. This is on the eastern side this time. Um, they're nice walks. Um, I generally go for a walk with the dog if I'm home on a Sunday and a Saturday. Um, and I hope you like it. Okay, thank you. Cheers. Yeah, well, I'm here at the uh, council depot. There's a car there um, on the Nathan Street Bridge. This is a one of the fields they use for playing soccer, football, touch football. Um, yeah. So we're heading down to the um, the weir, which I walked into Douglas. So it's where we're going today. Dog absolutely loves it. Probably should be on a, on a lead, but there's nobody around. He's very obedient. Comes when I call him. Yeah. Charles is lucky to have all these paths and beautiful gardens. And We've had the extra benefit of, of a bit of rain over the winter time and um, everything is nice and green. This time of year it's normally starting to dry out. Yeah, that way there takes me under the Nathan Street Bridge and um, towards the south um, along through uh, Aikenvale. the river down there, Mount Stewart in the background. And it's all signposted, all these uh, walks. They even tell you how many steps you have if you want to go that way. Like this one here, it'll say uh, Victor Street, Irving Street, Brett Street. Whichever way you want to go, but we're heading along the river. As I said before, it's a magical place, the uh, Ross River. And that is over there is the Nathan Street Bridge. The uh, paperbark trees have just have been flowering. The flowers are going brown now. They were white, um, and it was like walking through a forest of honey. But yeah, I get some photos when they're white, and they smell absolutely beautiful with the um, honey smell. Bike path is used by uni students riding to and from university, also to get along the river. I don't often do this one here. It can get hot here in summer and um, 
is not a, a short walk. Probably take me a good 40 minutes to there and back. Yeah, this side of the river um, is more natural. Doesn't have the um, um, the lawns and the sculptures and, and everything, barbecues like over the richer side, which I call is the side of Douglas with the multi oh, million dollar houses or close to it. This is an older suburb, but I prefer this side. As I say, the river's just there. Beautiful day today, sun, no cloud. Probably around about 14 degrees last night. It's about 8.30 in the morning and um, I haven't got a coat on. So that's how glorious the weather is in Townsville this time of year. Every so often you'll get these um, little signs saying um, about the water birds and what birds are out where and what, what they're called. Um, so yeah, it's a really handy place to be for nature lovers. Yeah, the uh, river ghost gums with their white trunks and also you'll get the um, black butts all the, all the eucalyptus trees around here and the paper bark trees down by the river and we're walking up towards an old um, mango trees there I believe they're turpen, half turpentine of mangoes with they've got a, a not a real nice flavour but they're nice trees anyway haven't seen the kangaroos but it's normally a lot of kangaroos around this area but I haven't seen them lately but they'll be in amongst all the trees Yeah, we're underneath this mango plantation at the moment. Old one. The sun that's looking towards the east, I suppose you could say. Towards the north. So this would really be the northerly suburb. Yeah. The lawns aren't manicured, they're just mowed. Um, as I say, this is more of a natural bush side of, uh, of the river and it's a suburb of Cranbrook. Yeah, at least this time of day in winter time, not too many people out. There's still probably either in bed or just having breakfast I can let my dog off here and he can run around without a lead nobody to annoy just the bush turkeys that are around and he chases them occasionally but um, they quickly fly out of the way up a tree or somewhere But yeah, it's a very nice walk this one. It's that in summertime it gets hot, so I probably turn around by now. Head back because he normally wants water. Yeah, this signpost, so it says Victor Street up that way, Louise Street up further. 
Okay. So, and that down there is our, the rowing club, which I walked past recently. It's an older suburb this side. People aren't as rich as the other side, I suppose. Trees are certainly a lot bigger. And it's a great walk. There he is under the tree to see. Little wallaby. There he goes. Yeah, come on. The houses over there on, in Douglas, with the, the reservoir on the uh, hill over there where they get the uh, fresh water from, pumps up into there, then feeds the suburbs. And yeah, we're just ascending down now into the um, weir. There's a weir over there. And just descending down so Louise Street is up the way in Arena Street. Oh, smell coming from these is unbelievably strong. Hmm. So when the eucalyptus has just been finished flowering, we have um, the wattle starting to flower. Not sure what that tree is. Could be a tulip tree. You know, yellow wattle in between the two of them. Looks very nice. As I said, the scent from that is so strong, it's unbelievable. And last time I was here, the scent from the uh, paper bark trees was like walking through a forest of honey. So this is when our trees flower, is in our winter. Yeah, just descending down now onto the, towards the river. There is a dog park down here, off leash area. My dog doesn't like big dogs because they stand over him all the time, but... Very pretty weir this, as I said in the last video of my walk on the Douglas side of it. It's viewing platforms. This is uh, Townsville's first weir, I mentioned before. Pelicans over there. The other viewing platforms on the other side. Very pretty weir. Kobe. Let's walk out under the viewing platform yeah little island over there in the middle of the trees growing on it
Well, I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Okay, cheers.